where will the filthy rich go in 2024? Today, we'll look at the 10 most expensive cities to live in in the coming year. In this video, we'll look at the major cities with the highest cost of living and the predicted price rises in 2024. Because the cost of living index influences the ranking, real estate prices fluctuate, but I'll offer those figures to provide context for these places. In the last year, real estate prices in most major cities have fallen and are predicted to fall further next year, while demand for beard and nail services is increasing. Number 10. Los Angeles, California Los Angeles is rumoured to be gorgeous, and the weather is consistently beautiful, but it comes at a high price. Los Angeles is an expensive city for a variety of reasons, including housing costs, in this massive metropolis, demand for homes and apartments far outnumbers supply, driving up prices to absurd levels. Renting a modest studio in trendy West Hollywood or purchasing a suburban Beverly Hills estate will almost surely set you back a significant amount of money. Ordinary folks have a difficult time finding inexpensive housing due to the competitive real estate market. Even if you do, you can expect to pay a sizable amount of your salary for rent or mortgage payments, as well as living expenses. The cost of living in Los Angeles is exorbitantly high. One of the most expensive states for car insurance. The high cost of living in the metropolis exacerbates traffic congestion. This city is infamous for its traffic, so unless you work from home, you should purchase or rent a car closer to your workplace to prevent daily commute horrors. If you leave between midnight and 2 a.m., the journey from Redondo Beach to West Los Angeles would take 30 minutes. During peak hours, it would take 2.5 hours. The numbers are as follows. Los Angeles' cost of living index is 161, while the average home value is $920,600, which has climbed by 2.7% in the last year. Number 9. Miami, Florida Miami is Florida's second most populated city, with a population of around 450,000 people. That is only the city. The metropolitan area has a population of around 6 million people. Vice City is a Florida business hotspot with over 1,000 international firms. Why is the cost of living in Miami so high, given the city's major economic differences? The weather tax is the key factor. Southern California and Florida will tell you everything you need to know. Sunlight is more expensive all year. Because most individuals would prefer tan to shovel snow, warm weather is more expensive. Electricity expenses can increase during the summer heat and hurricane season. The wealthy and famous flock to Miami, resulting in an abundance of gorgeous condos. The rest of the country's real estate has both supply and demand, whereas Miami only has supply. You must be wealthy and willing to live in a small condo to live on Miami Beach. Multi-millionaires and billionaires may be able to afford it. Here are the numbers. In a typical state, something that costs $1.100 at the grocery store costs $1.135 in Miami. A home in Miami costs approximately $575,000, up 12.7% from the previous year. Number 8. San Diego San Diego, California is an excellent choice for someone who does not need to travel to Los Angeles, San Francisco or San Jose for business and just wishes to live in one of California's five major metropolitan areas. San Diego is your best bet. San Diego has lovely weather. Tacos with fish and surf. If you don't have fish tacos, you're missing out on one of San Diego's most popular attractions. I would like to live in San Diego. I recommend living in San Diego in your 20s and 30s if you have a solid job or trust money. Why should you extend your bank account before relocating to America's finest city? First and foremost, there is Prime. Real properties on the coast San Diego's stunning beaches and wonderful weather push up property values faster than you can say board shorts due to the limited coastal area and high demand for ocean view homes. Living in San Diego is costly, and utility rates may rise as a result of California's wildfire risk. Unless you discover a Dairy Queen, there will be no blizzards. 
gas costs are sky high because California has high prices for almost everything. Restaurants will shout at you, and this is one of the few California cities where real estate prices are skyrocketing. The numbers. San Diego has a cost of living index of 152. The average home in San Diego is now worth $990,000, representing a 12.4% increase year over year. Number 7. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is like that finicky friend who constantly eats out and dresses up but never remembers to bring their wallet. Living here is expensive for a reason. Begin with the labour market. The city is filled with government bodies like think tanks and international organisations which necessitate educated individuals. The expense of living rises in lockstep with earnings. The vicious cycle continues as you earn more money yet spend more on rent, living expenses, housing and other expenses. The real estate market in Washington DC is ludicrous. Talk about numbers. The cost of living index in DC is 159. In Washington DC, the average home is worth roughly $609,000. Number 6. Boston, Massachusetts. If you didn't know Boston was expensive, congrats! Your residence is not on the East Coast. They claim Boston is expensive and has a strange accent that I can't imitate, so I'm not going to try. The demand for housing in this ancient city is growing as a result of all the colleges and universities that continue to produce clever people who want to stay in the area once they graduate, so landlords can charge whatever they want, and I won't even get into the parking situation. Then, there's the high expense of living in Boston, where everything from groceries to gas appears to be more expensive due to hefty taxes. Let's look at the numbers. Boston has a cost of living index score of 176. The median home value as of January 1st, 2024 is $682,000, an 8% decrease from last year. Number 5. San Jose, California. San Jose appears to be close to San Francisco on the map. San Jose is a metro region and city near the bay's bottom. However, it seems more like a salt marsh. It's not cheap. Many believe San Jose to be the hub of Silicon Valley. It is well known for its high cost of living and not just for its sunny weather and IT prowess. Vibe, Apple, Google and Facebook all have local offices, luring high-paid tech workers from all around the world. Bigwigs make a lot of money and need a place to live. Bidding wars and increasing rents dominate the San Jose real estate market. Because of its jobs and population, San Jose is too expensive for me. Although San Jose is expensive, congested and has horrible traffic, there are nicer spots in Silicon Valley to live for the same price. But first, let's look at the numbers. San Jose has a cost of living index of 214. It's expensive, but everyone's prices are dropping. The average property price for this one is $1,286,400. Number 4. Seattle Seattle breaks every rule. It's not sunny. Expenses are only expensive when it's sunny. Seattle is a lovely city, but it too suffers from this issue. They have a lot of high-tech enterprises in the city, which provides big payouts for workers, but also raises costs, making Emerald City incredibly costly. Seattle's uncommon combination of natural beauty and urban activity draws many people to the city. Many people consider this city to be worthwhile due to the breathtaking views of Puget Sound, Elliott Bay, and the snow-capped mountains to the east. The figures. Seattle has a cost of living index score of 172. As previously stated, the average property value in Seattle is $826,000. Anything worth living in downtown Seattle or the surrounding area is going to cost a million dollars. The good news is that it is down 8.6% from last year. Number 3. New York City For many years, New York City was the most expensive city in the US NYC's cost of living has decreased. Two other cities in the United States have already surpassed them. The Big Apple, New York City 
The city that never sleeps has many advantages, but one of them is that it is not cheap to live there. Why is everything so pricey here? Is this on Broadway? The city is well known, beautiful, a cultural melting pot, a job market powerhouse, and there are more restaurants than you can shake a menu at. People look for real estate to rent rather than buy in this area. At least 80% of the folks I've talked to believe that apartment buildings are converting little broom closets into apartments by adding a toilet. Surprisingly, some people are willing to pay $1,500 for cramped quarters and fetal sleeping postures. The cost of living in New York City covers not only housing, but also groceries and other expenses. Taxes in New York are exorbitant. NYC is far worse. This is a digit. The cost of living index in New York City is 149. The typical home is worth $736,400. It's quite deceptive. The good news is that real estate prices in New York City have dropped 5.8% in the last year. Number two, Honolulu, Hawaii. Many people wish to live in Honolulu. With magnificent beaches, year-round sunshine and a laid-back attitude, there is one drawback that may make your wallet lighter. In Honolulu, paradise is expensive, and that doesn't even include the high real estate rates. The isolation of Hawaii from the mainland will undoubtedly hike living costs. In certain cases, shipping to the US costs twice as much as shipping to the mainland. Usually, Hawaii-grown or made goods have reasonable prices. Shipping anything else there could result in tears. Real estate prices have fallen a little in the last year, but they remain dangerously excessive. Beach and mountain views limit the supply of homes and apartments in this tropical paradise, which is in high demand. Home costs would increase as a result. Buying or renting a home in Honolulu will be expensive. Here are the figures. The cost of living index is 169. Our average home is worth $748,400. But the good news is that prices have dropped 2.4% in the last year. Number one. San Francisco. Despite its flaws, San Francisco is costly. The city seems to attract high prices. The city's real estate market is expensive. Yes, I say insane. Because everything, including coffee and gasoline, is more expensive than in the average American city. First, the insurance is too expensive, there is no parking, and California's DMV fees are exorbitant. You'll bring home groceries if you move to San Francisco. With all of San Francisco's problems, you'd think prices would have dropped by now, yet they're still climbing. Many IT workers in San Francisco earn more than $90,000 per year and cannot afford to live there. Many vans dwellers work, shower at the gym, and save money. Tech firms are departing California for a variety of reasons, including the fact that they are not bored with the state. It's not that they're sick of California. San Francisco and the Bay Area will not be able to retain their employees. They can sometimes throw money at a problem and hire the best. To avoid the inconveniences and high cost of living in San Francisco, the brightest people are now pursuing high demand employment in other US cities. This is the price. You have figures. San Francisco has a cost of living index of 203. So, whatever you buy will most certainly cost twice as much as it would in other U.S. cities. The average home value in San Francisco is $1,361,600, which is high, but it is down 9.6% from a year ago. If you think you can live in San Francisco, I advise you to give it a shot. You can only sell a kidney once. We have finished the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it.